Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a review on the Clean and Clear Pressure Gel 10, which is an acne medication, and it has 10% benzoyl peroxide in it, which is the maximum strength. This happens to be by Johnson & Johnson. They also make another version of this, which is in the 5% solution, so if you feel like this is too strong for you, you can actually get that one instead. Um, now, the, it comes in a squeeze tube with a cap that you untwist. The solution itself is a white color. You only need a very small amount of this. So I would say like that much, like a dab on each uh, acne spot that you do have will be more than enough. The only thing is that I recommend that you use this only at night. It is an effective acne medication, so that's why I'm doing this review because I feel like this is probably the only product that you can get um, over the counter that I've used so far that actually is effective at controlling the acne that you do have and making it go away a lot sooner and quicker. And I would say that um, if you even have acne that is painful, if you do use this, I would say in, within one to two days, the acne will shrink and the pain will go away and it will take um, less time to um, recover from the acne that you do have. I do have dry skin and I do get acne in my T-zone. so. I think that um, for me, benzoyl peroxide works the best. Now, if you happen to have oily skin, um, you can use this product, which is by Clean and Clear, and it's also by Johnson and Johnson, and it's called Deep Cleansing, Deep Cleaning Astringent. And this one happens to have salicylic acid in it. There is a 0.5 percent amount of salicylic acid, and it is for the treatment of acne. So, if you do have oily skin, you probably want to use this particular product during the daytime so when you wake up in the morning if you wash your face um, you would apply this to your face that way you can control the acne during the day and then at night I would recommend using this and dabbing it on the spots where you do have acne if you apply this to your uh, whole entire face you will probably aggravate the um, skin on your face that does not have acne on it because it is very drying so you don't want to apply this to your entire face this you can use as a spot type of therapy and it does work. It is very effective. Um, do not recommend it for use during the day, and I'll tell you why. The reason is because, number one, it goes on your face white. So you will see white, um, like a cream, on your face. If you do happen to blend it in really, really well, and you are a female, you wear makeup, and you blend it in um, by first applying this and then the makeup, you kind of will actually uh, spread this product uh, onto areas of your face that do not have acne and you will really see some irritation by having red marks as well as itching associated with um, the strength of this medication. So that's why I don't recommend using it during the day. I only recommend it using it at night as a spot treatment. It does work. Um, when I first used it, I didn't like it at all because I felt like it was way too drying. But if you do use it at night and if you use it at night and while you're sleeping, you're sleeping quite a number of hours, it will help the acne, um, the reduction in the acne that you do have. So I have definitely been using this for quite some time. It is still very, very full. You only need the tiniest amount possible out of this tube, and it does work. So if you get a chance, um, go out and get it at your local uh, store. They sell it pretty much anywhere. So it's very um, affordable and easy to find. And definitely try this because it does work as an over-the-counter medication for acne. So if you have any questions for me, please let me know. I hope that that was helpful. Bye.